welcome back to Low Carb for Life. Today I'm going to be making chili, low carb chili with no beans. I will show you the ingredients that we'll be using. I have a pound and a half of hamburger. I have six fresh mushrooms cut up, one green pepper cut up, one stalk of celery cut up. I'll also be adding one can of the Mexican style peeled tomatoes diced with green chilies, a small can of mild fire roasted green chilies, um, chili powder, I kind of put in you know, your discretion of what you want to use, a can of V8, and an eighth of a cup of A1 steak sauce. I will be adding that together. I'll have my toppings that I'll put on afterwards when we come back. I'll show you that. But for now, I'm going to fry up my hamburger. I'm going to add my mushrooms, my celery, and my green peppers to it. And then I'll come back and all of the hamburger will be done with the mushrooms and green peppers. Okay, as you can see here, I am cooking up the hamburger. I have in the mushrooms, the green peppers, and the celery. I'm going to give that some time to cook, get all together, and I'll drain it after this. I'll drain all the grease out, and then I will come back and put my other ingredients in. Okay, I have my hamburger with my green peppers, my mushroom, and my celery. It's all cooked and drained. I am going to put the rest of the ingredients in there, which is a can of tomatoes with green chilies. I also put some chili powder in there, but I'll also be adding more. I like to put some chili powder in it while the hamburger is cooking and then also after. This is the chilies, green chilies. This gives it a little bit of a kick, but it's mild. I suppose you can have your preference on hot or mild. A can of V8, just to give it a little bit more of a thinner. I know a lot of people like their chili really thin or really soupy, but I don't really care for mine soupy. My little secret ingredient of A1 sauce. Give it a little boldness. And I'm going to add a little more chili powder. We go crazy on our chili powder. We love it. Add as much as you want. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit to medium. Okay, and I'm going to stir all this together. Now, if you want it to have a little bit more, um, uh, to have a little more liquidy, go ahead. You can add water to it. You can add a little more tomato juice to it. It's all up to you. But the way I like it is I like a thick, meaty chili with vegetables in it. That's the way I like it. I also want to show you a little, while this is cooking, a little treat that I'm going to have with mine. I just came across Joseph's uh, pita bread. These are only six carbs for one, and I'm going to show you a neat little way to have chips that crunch, and we're going to have it with our chili. I have them here. I cut them up. I cut them in eight, and then I peeled them apart, so I got 16. There's only what, a few on here, but because I was trying out and eating some. Then all I do, I spray them a little bit with my, you know, and I put them in the microwave for one minute. It only takes one minute to get nice and crunchy chips. I have some done right here because I just tried them. And they are really good. I mean, they actually crunch. So you can't beat it. The flavor is really, really good, too. So I'm going to let them go. And it's better if you don't eat them right out of the microwave. Let them sit for just maybe just a couple minutes. And it gets a nice crunchiness to it. And they're whole wheat, so they taste really, really good. I'm going to let this cook up a little. Oh, it smells amazing. I may even put a little more chili powder in it. 
I love chili powder. As it cooks, it's going to get a little more juicy, too. I'm going to let this cook for about, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 minutes. And when I come back, I'm going to have it assembled. I'm going to have my cheese on it, some chives, some sour cream, because that's the way I love it. And I'm going to have some yummy chips to go along with it. Be right back. Okay. It's been cooking a little bit. All my vegetables are soft in there, and I'm going to assemble it and put it into my bowl. This smells amazing. You should have this for the game. I love cheese on mine. I'll put a few. This is Velveeta cheese. I absolutely love it. Oh, on chili, it's the best. I also like ch uh, sour cream. Just a big hunk of sour cream on there. And my chives. There you have it. You got your chili, your cheese, your chips. This will show you how nice these chips hold up. Right there. A great little... Mmm. Wonderful. Well, this is my supper tonight, and I'm going to go sit down and eat. So... Thanks for watching Low Carb for Life.